Good afternoon on this Palm Sunday in the year 2020. This is the official beginning of Holy Week. And today, if we had been able to gather, we would have had a beautiful celebration of the entry of Jesus into Jerusalem, and then we would have shared the Passion of Christ, according to Matthew, and it would have been a lovely day receiving the blessed palms. But we can't gather. We're not allowed to touch. We're supposed to stay six feet apart. So I think there's a challenge for us to do something different, and I'd like to put it this way. The Archbishop wrote a beautiful letter, which I'm also going to post on our Facebook page. It's called The Holy Week Message to the Faithful of the Archdiocese of Los Angeles. And he begins with this phrase. He says, or it says, Archbishop Gomez urges the faithful to make their homes a domestic church where they can pray the rosary, read the Bible with their children, or watch the live streaming of Masses as a family. To make their homes a, a domestic church, that's one of the reasons I chose not to go into the church building or what I prefer to call the temple, but gather in my domestic setting, the rectory, the house in which I live, among you. That's the real challenge for us all as Catholic Christians, to realize we don't go to church or to the church. We are the church, you and I. Each of our homes is a domestic church where our families live in unity. They live as the people of God, gathered by blood in their own home. So he writes a beautiful letter, and um, I think it calls us to a few things. There is a, a reality that we're living right now. It's that we cannot touch. We're asked to stay six feet apart from one another. So there is both the reality, the physical reality of we cannot touch, but also the metaphorical reality that we can't touch. We're to be distant. But really, is that true? I don't think we are to be distant. We are to be even more united and even more in touch, in touch physically, but in touch with one another. So I'll mention a few ways that that could be. For example, uh, as I've posted it many times, uh, if you have an elderly neighbor who also might be sick uh, and, and they don't have family around and they're kind of alone, wouldn't it be nice if you offered to get their groceries for them or go get their medications or whatever it might be that they need? So you call them and you call over the fence and say, hey, do you need anything? I'm going to the store. What can I get for you? Uh, do you need any medications or anything? What can I get for you? Because if you reach across that fence or reach up to their front door and you don't touch them physically, but you give to them whatever their need might be, bring their groceries, bring their meds, you know, you are touching and embracing them. That is so heart to heart. And isn't that what Holy Week is all about? coming to know the Christ who died for us, who, who gave his body and blood for us and was raised up to bring us eternal life. This is Holy Week. And as the Archbishop says in, in this article or in the, in the letter that he writes, he says, um, he, he says, our churches may be closed, but Christ is not quarantined. But I'd go further. I'd say, not only is Christ not quarantined, he lives in you, and he lives in me, and he is our source of unity and oneness. And if we can this Holy Week meet Christ at the deepest part of our heart and soul, we will be Christ for one another. Christ will unite us. This domestic church, or this gathering of many domestic churches, just on my own block, will be a gathering of people of God who live in Christ and share Christ. May you have a blessed, powerful, and beautiful Holy Week in your domestic churches at home. Thank you.